Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a pick a card for you. This is going to be what do your spirit guides want you to know. So let's go ahead and get started. I do offer personal readings. If you're interested, information is listed down below. I'd be happy to help. Pile 1 is going to be the seashell. Pile 2 is the green crystal. And Pile 3 is the Russian painted egg. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for Pile 1 that chose the shell here. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's look at your guidance card here. So you do have the raven. So the universe is calling you to notice important synchronicity. So pay attention to things, whether that's numbers you see, the same old word that you see, the name, the same old message that pops in your head. It could definitely be like a song that's in your head. You keep seeing the same person at different locations, and maybe you don't know who they are, but you're like, wow, you're everywhere I go. Pay attention to that. There's something here. So let's go ahead and find out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cards here. Let's lay those out. We do have the hangman. We do have Pisces energy here as well. We do have the Ace of Cups. So we have a lot of water, the Holy Grail. So there is something they want you to pay attention to, everything that's in sync here for you. There's something that's on pause that you may be thinking about, maybe moving forward on, but universe is giving you the Holy Grail. They're giving you the cup that runneth over. You have a lot of peace offerings. It's emotional, a cup of love. This is a cup of abundance, and it is coming from divine essence. You do have a reconciliation coming in as well. So there could be something where an old job calls you back. It could be something here, you know, spirit guides are saying, pay attention to your your feelings and your emotions because you may be wanting to reconcile with somebody here and you know there is some abundance coming in you have a lot of lucky times ahead of you along with good news there's a lot of success and prosperity that's coming in it's a brand new beginning especially in the next 30 days you do have something coming in that's going to be fantastic spectacular here for you you're good enough too so you do have virgo energy all around you so for pile one they're really telling you to pay attention to everything that just is everything's flowing in sync for you you are going to be thinking about maybe reconciling, going back to a job or going back to a lover. Your cup runneth over. You're going to have peace in your mind and your heart space. You know, your ancestors and everyone here in Spirit Guides are trying to tell you, we're trying to offer you something that's going to make your cup runneth over. Flow of abundance, happiness, joy, good things coming your way, the best job that's for you, more money that's made for you because you do have abundance. You're going to celebrate. Look at this. You're going to be collaborating with new people. You have the opportunity. Whether you take this or not, it's up to you, but the offer is coming to to you so you have to do your part and accept it okay but you do have a lot of abundance coming in there's a lot of reconciliations there's forgiveness here you have virgo so they want you to know whoever did you wrong i feel somebody here did somebody dirty okay whether it was a love situation or a business they were shady they were dirty they lied to you they, they set you up for something here, set you up to fail. You are not a failure. You're good enough. The reason it was blocked and the reason that this didn't work. And so Spirit Guide says the reason this didn't move forward the way that you wanted is because it was not for you. It was too toxic for you. That's why they're trying to set you up for more abundance and success and love. Your cup literally is going to run it over. So don't worry. Don't get all upset about the situation. It wasn't meant for you because this is and this is beautiful for you. So you're good enough. You're going to have a lot of abundance and prosperity coming your way. Let's move on to pile two. Okay, pile two that shows the green crystal here for pile two. Let's go ahead and take a look at your guidance card here. You do have the Osprey. Beautiful. So your success is now at hand. So allow the abundance to flow to you effortlessly. So beautiful. So you've asked and you shall receive whatever abundance. It's not just money. It can be for some of you, but abundance is good health as well. Your health is your wealth. Also abundance of love and prosperity. So let's take a look. You do have the Five of Swords, Pile 2. You also have the Chariot, the Cancer sign. Okay, so there's movement here. So there's a lot of success. This card represents a lot of success, happiness, and joy. I'm actually hearing pay attention to the 11th of October. Pay attention to the 11th of October all the way to the 31st. There's something here where you've had challenges, changes, competition here, discord, arguments, disbelief. Somebody set you up as well. There could have been something here with jealousy, with anger, with bittersweet. It could be you, something that didn't go your way. You do have the chariot, though. You're being removed. Something is being removed from you so that you can move forward. There's something coming in very quickly and a lot of success here for you. You're not going to be in any more competition. There's nothing here that can hold you back is what they're saying. You're finding and going through a major transformation. You're finding your own path, your journey. You're going ahead and you're transcending. So you may feel a little off, a little dizzy, headaches. You may feel a little sick to your stomach. There's things that are 
are moving and shifting is the Kundalini, okay? And so you can look that up, but that is an awakening of the soul because you're better than these people. You are, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. They just don't match your vibration. They're not at your level. They're being removed. You're having a lot of success. It's coming in very quickly. Some of you may be getting an abundance of money to get a new car, whether that's new or used car. You're getting a new vehicle. For some of you, you are. And there is something here that's coming in that's moving rather quickly. You're the driver in the seat, and you're going to take this offer from the universe here. You do have the unicorn. There's a lot of success, hope. There's freedom. There's healing. There's a lot of magic around you here. There's people that are coming in to help you. Allow them to help. All you have to do is believe it. If you believe it, you can achieve it. So you are finding your own way. You could have left a relationship that really broke your heart, that you put a lot of, um, they're saying, a lot of money in a business relationship. It didn't work out. You didn't get the promotion. That's okay. Some of you put a lot of love and your heart blood, sweat, and tears into a relationship of love. And there's just too much chaos in it. You're being removed from that. You're going to have a lot of blessings, a lot of success are coming. So be bold and make the first move. They're saying, you know what? Don't worry about that situation, especially by the next moon. There is something here, the new moon. They're saying new, new opportunity, success, abundance, and love. You have victory. You're just going through a transition here. It's going to be beautiful for you. In the next 13 days, pay attention. Okay, so pile three that chose the Russian painted egg. And yes, this is from Russia. This is from 1946. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at your guided messages here. You have the owl. So your intuition is correct. Follow your inner path, your wisdom. Okay, without fail. Pay attention to the messages. Pay attention to the birds. When the birds go quiet and you don't hear any chirping and it's just like that stillness, that calm, you hear nothing, you should be aware. Pay attention. Your intuitiveness is very, very alert. You're very powerful. So you're being downloaded a lot of messages here from your spirit guides. You may see an owl. You may hear morning doves. Whatever the situation is, birds are coming to you. Those are messages from your spirit guides. Feathers. You may find feathers on the ground, okay? Spirit guides are telling you, look, the burdens are over, okay? The Ten of Swords, this is a major ending. You cannot go back. You cannot change a thing. It's done. It's over, okay? And you have new beginnings with that. So accept this that's being done and over, okay? Whatever it is, you've been struggling. You didn't want this. You kept on pushing it and pushing it, and still it wasn't working, whatever that is. Your guides are telling you it's time to move on. You have the Hermit energy here with the Virgo, okay? So you're lighting your own path, your own journey. You're going to really they're saying concede with the highest self. So that means you need to listen to your higher self. Pay attention to the wisdom that's coming through. You do have somebody that's coming in that you haven't seen in a while. They are going to come in. They're going to help you out. You have many blessings that are coming in from your guides as well. So spirit is saying, look, by the next full moon, you are going to have so much blessings, so much love coming your way, whatever ended, especially with a family chaos, there's burdens, people up in your business, whatever that situation is that comes to an ending so you can have more peace. You do need to go alone. You need some downtime to make meditate and to be alone and to make the decisions that are good for you, not for this other person. Okay. And you do have a lot of uh, mountains. There's a lot of blockages. There's stars. There's wish fulfillments. So know that you're protected here. You have faced a lot of challenges. Remain positive with that situation. Some things are still blocked because they're not for you. You are moving on. You may meet somebody at a long distance as well. You may be traveling, especially for a job. The answers you need are coming here. You have Gemini energy around you. Like I said, by the next moon phase here, full moon, they're saying, everything comes to full completion. The wheel turns in your favor. You have a lot of prosperity, but you do need to be alone for a moment in time so these things can come to you because you don't want anyone else's energy to interfere with the blessings that are coming to you. Take care.